welcome students welcome to our new physics class in this class we are going to discuss on some creative questions board creative questions here is the first question which is of dhaka board 2017 you can see there are two charges called a and b the first charge is of 40 plus 40 coulomb and the second charge is of plus 20 coulomb and the distance between a and c c is a point charge which is at the middle of a and b the distance between a and c is 18 cm and the distance between b and c is 6 cm and the heat is charges a and b are placed in air medium that means the medium is air the first question what is electric potential electric potential means electric field potential and electric field potential means the work done to bring a unit positive charge from the infinity to a point of an electric field is called the electric field potential of that point the second question which is understanding based question 220 volt and 60 watt is written in an electric bulb explain the meaning is there written 220 volt and 60 watt in a bulb it means a bulb of 60 watt is connected to if it is connected to 220 volt potential difference or in a circuit of 220 volt then it will illuminate in or uh, illuminate to highest extent and it will convert 60 joule electric energy to heat and uh, light energy per second So the third question is find out the amount of force acting between A and B we have to find out the force the attractive force or repulsive force between A and B so you have to use the equation of coulomb's law there is the solution we know the coulomb's law's equation is f is equal to c into q1 q2 by r square as you know c is the coulomb's constant and its value is 9 into 10 to the power 9 so what is q1 the first charge which is plus 40 coulomb here q1 is equal to plus 40 coulomb q2 means the second charge which is 20 coulomb plus 20 coulomb and the distance between a and b means the r so what is the distance between a and b 18 cm plus 6 cm so here is the distance 18 plus 6 equal to 24 cm you have to convert this cm to meter so you have to divide 24 by 100 so the result is 0.24 meter so after putting the results and the values of q1 q2 r and c this is the calculation or this is the procedure of calculation and here is the result 1.25 into 10 to the power 14 newton so this is the answer of c now we will go with number 4 means d the question is if a unit positive charge is placed at the point c if there is a unit positive charge that means plus 1 coulomb charge for which charge the intensity at c will be greater for which charge for the a or b among between a and b for which charge the intensity at c will be greater so we have to calculate the intensity of c for the charge a and for the charge b first of all we have to write the intensity of c for the charge a for the charge a the intensity of c is the equation is e is equal to c into q by r square this is the equation of intensity or electric field intensity as the intensity is for a so you can write e a is equal to c into q a by r square after putting the value 9 into 10 to the power 9 into q a means 40 coulomb 40 and the distance between a and c is 18 cm you have to convert this um uh, to meter so you have to divide by 100 and the result will be 0.18 point 0.18 whole square and we can find the result which is uh of a calculation one point one into ten to the power 
13 Newton Coulomb inverse 1. Newton Coulomb inverse 1 is the unit of electric field intensity. Now we will go with the another one. Again, you have to write again in the same language the intensity of C for the charge B. For the charge B. Now we will do it B. So the equation will be EB is equal to C into QB by R square. This is the equation of intensity for B equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 into what is QB? QB means the charge plus 20 coulomb 20 divided by the distance between B and C which is 6 divided by 100 equal to 0 0.06 whole square and the result will be 5 into 10 to the power 13 Newton coulomb inverse 1 so which one is bigger than another? the power of EA is 13 this is 13, same power, but this is 1.1 and 5. 5 is bigger than 1.1. So, EB is greater than EA. This is the answer of this question. Students, this is our another CQ, which is of Borishal Board 2017. And the stamp is two charged bodies of 7.29 coulomb and another of 12.25 coulomb are placed in air medium and the distance between two charges is 700 meter. There is a point D between them where the electric intensity is zero. That means at point D the electric field potential is zero. And we know where the electric field potential is zero, there the electric field potential is equal. The first question, what is called electric induction? Electric induction is a process by which we can make a neutral charged object to a charged object. That means electric induction is uh, uh, to make a neutral charged object bring to a charged object to make it charged is called the electric induction. The second question, there is no direct connection between the electric line and the pillar. There is no direct connection between the electric lines and the electric poles or pillars. Here pillars means metal pillars. There is no connection or direct connection between the metal pillars or the um, electric lines. Why? So uh, Because if anybody or anyone touches the pillar, he can be electrified. He could be electrified and there could be an accident, a serious accident. So the uh, lines are connected with a porcelain cup porcelain cup with the pillar. C. Determine the force between the charges. Determine the force. As we have uh, already um, uh, 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 solved the problem in our previous math, uh, the process is uh, by the Coulomb's law. And you know the, why the Coulomb's law? Because uh, to determine the attracting or repulsive force, we have to use this equation. F is equal to C into Q1, Q2 by R square. What is C? C is the Coulomb's constant, which value is 9 into 10 to the power 9, which I have already discussed on this. What is Q1? Q1 means the first charge, 7.29 Coulomb. What is Q2? Q2 means the second charge, 12.25 Coulomb. And the result is 1.64 into 10 to the power 10. This is the result or this is the force between two charges. Now we will go with our another problem. That is the problem number D. The question is, D is whether the middle point or not of two charges. Explain mathematically. We have to show whether D is at the middle point of two charges. So let this is the first charge. This is the another second charge. This charge is of 7.29, most probably 7.29 uh, and 12.25, 7.29 coulomb and 12.25 coulomb. These are the charges. And between this, there is a distance of 700 centimeter, which means seven meter to convert this to meter. After comparing to this meter, uh, this is the distance. And uh, for doing the math D, we have to consider a point, consider a point D, where the electric field um, uh, intensity is zero, and let the distance between this charge and this charge is x. Let the distance between 12.25 and 7.25 .2, and D is x. So the distance between this and this is 700 centimeter means we can write there 7 meter so this distance is of 7 minus 
x meter. This is x meter. This is seven minus x meter. So the intensity. of D for the charge 12.25 coulomb is E is equal to C into Q by R square like this and uh, we have to keep it like this and again no need to do the another lines after uh, writing the uh, line for the second charge we will do, math, do the math and again we can write the intensity of D for the charge 7.29 coulomb E is equal to C into Q by R square. We can write E1, E2, Q1, Q2. R1, R2. As C is the constant, so we can't write C1 or C2. So students, according to the question, we can write E1 is E2 equal to E2. Why? Because they are mentioned in our stamp that at point D, the electric field intensity is zero, and I have already said that at which point the electric field intensity is zero, at that point the electric field intensity is equal. So we can write E1 is equal to E2 for the point D. After putting the values, E1 means what? C into Q1 by R1 square equal to C into Q2 by R2 square. CC, we can omit this, so we can write Q1 by R1 square equal to Q2 by R2 square. So what is Q1? Q1 means this 7.29. What is R? The distance 7 minus X whole square equal to what is Q2? 12.25. And what is R? X. X meter. So we can write like this by uh, doing the uh, cross multiplication x squared by 7 minus x whole square equal to 12.25 by 7.29 so the next line will be x by 7 minus x equal to root over 12 by 2.25 7.29 so by doing this the results will be 1.296 that means x by 7 minus x equal to 296. Okay? Then, after this line, we will continue from there. So, x equal to 1.296 and x equal to 7 minus x. So, by doing the uh, multiplication, we can find out the value of x is equal to 3.95 3.95 meter as you can see the distance between uh, this and this is 7 meter but the distance from the charge from this charge to D is uh, 3.95 not 7 not 3.5 because the middle of 7 is 3.5 but we have find out the value 3.95 it means that the D is not at the middle of the two charges. This is not at the